This here was my introduction into the Stalker franchise with the Anomaly mod, and I've been here for it since. Chicken, bacon. Now, I'm planning a playthrough of the originals. I still have to get the full experience, albeit I'm probably going to mod it to hell and back, because one, that's what I do. Two, those games can look kind of dated. But in the meantime, and while we wait for Stalker 2, there's some other games I'm looking forward to trying next. In at number six, we have Sons of the Forest. The spinoff to The Forest, this one looks, looks less like you're stuck in a terrible horror movie, and more of the squad in that terrible horror movie going in to get killed. <laughs> I'm in danger! You've still got all of your survival elements you've got to do, but you're also going to have to do that while there are what looks like voodoo cannibals and other creepy monsters lurking in that forest. I'm going to need to find a buddy for this one because of Chernobylite as any indication. I get jump scared really easily, and I'm going to need a cuddle buddy. At number five, we have State of Decay 3. This is another given considering the absolute time I put into the State of Decay 2 on this channel and my Twitch channel for the True Grit 100 Day Challenge. But when this one got announced, I was definitely excited. Whereas most survival games revolve around you surviving as a character and State of Decay 2 and possibly 3, it's a community you're playing as. Permadeath is always a thing and losing a survivor, rest in peace Chuck, is rough, especially when you've looked into the characters, seen their story, and you start to get attached to them. In my 100-day run, we've lost 13 survivors so far and are closing in on the end of the run, so hopefully we'll get some news on State 3 soon so we can start it all over again. Caveat for this one, though, it looks like we won't just be worrying about other zombies as the announcement trailer showcases a zombified deer eating a wolf. Coming in at number four, we have Icarus from Rocketworks, the people behind Daisy. This co-op survival game is a kind of session-based survival game that has permanent progression. How do you accomplish that permanent progression? That that you um you had you 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 could you do you wit you. The special quote meta resources you'll gather in each session. Basically, you drop down, gather, build, complete a mission, and then head back to the space station to keep any of the progress you made. And there's bears. There's there's a lot of bears. Got bears. Like a lot. You'll need to keep track of your food and water, of course, but also oxygen levels while you're going around fighting the bears. The bears. <laughs> The environments in this game look really impressive graphically, and the gathering mechanics look par for the course. Combat looks to be as you'd expect, though I haven't seen any firearms, so I don't know if that's going to be part of the progression. But what sets Icarus apart from other survival games is the fact that it's session-based, kind of like Tarkov. You're down on a planet for a limited time to complete missions, and all those missions have different time limits. If you miss your ride home, there's no going back. That character is dead, and you start over. So while you can run out of oxygen, suffocate to death, get mauled by a bear, other players can revive you. Missing your ride home means starting over. So time is of the essence. Rumors are there will be more information coming out soon, and a release date is set for November 2021 as of right now. Coming in at number three, it should be no surprise that I am looking forward to the day before. One game that I'm having a bit of a hard time trying not to get a little bit hyped for, it looks like a graphical overhaul of State of Decay without the bloated eaters of too much Taco Bell, crazy exes reaching their final form, or dependas to throw temper tantrums on your face. When it comes to zombies, this looks like it's got what you want in an open world survivor game set in a post-apocalypse down to its own version of Coca-Cola. It's got the three bars to manage though now. Though it does look like your insulation from the cold is going to be a, uh, a factor to keep track of. The creepy atmosphere combined with an open world space makes me a bit excited for this one. With the only problem being the all online, uh, being one that all online survival games have. Other players. It can be fun, it's risky, but there's nothing that quite ruins a survival experience more than your hard work going to absolute crap because some 11-year-old with a snipe rifle pops you from a skyscraper, then teabagged you. I was that 11-year-old, by the way. All in all, though, 
It definitely looks like something I'm going to try. At number two is going to be Stalker 2. Now this one seems obvious, but of course after starting to fall in love with the Stalker series, I am big hyped for this new game. But of course cautious. There's been no news on this other than a release date, tentative these days, and pre-order bonuses, and the number of weapons in the game. Of course, as with most games in this genre, modders are going to take this game to the next level. Before I dive into this though, I do need to finish play through the other main titles. Otherwise, though, I haven't been able to dig up a lot of info on this. And the release date is tentatively set for April of 2022. The last entry, number one, isn't Stalker 2. Haha, <laughs> debated you. It's Pioneer. Looking to be a full on Tarkov Stalker blend, Pioneer looks like it's got everything I could want online gameplay, hardcore tactical shooting. Well, we'll get more into that in a minute. Anomalies, monsters, Chernobyl like settings, guns, 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 guns. This MMO Stalker sounds like a dream come true. And with this one, I'm really struggling on the hype bandwagon. Gun customization is there and streamlined. It looks like it's got a good mix of the clunky slow movement of more tactical shooters and the smoother, more fast paced gameplay of more arcade shooters. The devs have said they want to reach that sweet middle ground and it sounds awesome to me, but that's going to be a tough spot to hit. Unfortunately though, I am blue balled to hell on this one as even their Twitter has been mostly silent. So when I hear more on this one, I'll definitely share it with you all. But that's going to wrap this up for my very first listicle vid. Just wanted to share what I've been keeping my eyes on somewhat. And let me know if you're excited for any of these or if I miss something that I should keep my eyes on. Let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, that is going to wrap this up. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all next time.